Hello friends, this is Hedda. This is probably my most requested video. Ever since I made my 2020 reading journal setup video almost a year ago, I've gotten comments and questions about when the update is coming. I had planned to make an update video in July, but life happened like it tends to do and I wasn't able to. But this video is going to be even better than that because I'll go through my spreads from this past year and also set up my spreads for the coming year. This video is kindly sponsored by Rustico and I am giving away a notebook from them in this video so stay tuned for more on Rustico and the giveaway later on in this video. This year I've used around 100 pages of this notebook and that's about half the pages in the book. So I'm not going to move into a new notebook for the new year, but instead continue on in this one. I don't feel the need to start over in a new notebook and I really like this one, so it all works out. If you watched my previous video, this was my plan all along that it would be for a longer time than just one year. Okay, so let's first go through the spreads I made in the beginning of the notebook. My index outgrew the one page I had set aside, which I had anticipated, so I did leave the next spread blank. The next spread is my books to be read spread, which I filled completely, but I couldn't come up with a clever way to cross off the books I actually read. I considered a white paint marker or something, but I couldn't decide on anything. Let me know if you have any ideas for how I can mark it as red. I have two more spreads set aside for this and I already printed out some book covers I have yet to glue on to the next page, so I'll get that done later in the video. Next up is my manga to be read spread and let me just say I did not read as much manga this year as I wanted to. I only read two volumes of my Sailor Moon manga, none of it in there, but at least I read Fruits Basket another and some of the Inuyasha volumes which I reread because of the new Yashahime anime which is kind of a sequel to the anime. I'm very excited for that but I haven't watched any of it yet. The next spread is for books that have been recommended to me by friends and by you guys. Many of you left book recommendations on my 2020 reading journal setup video and I really appreciate that. I read some of them but not nearly all of them. Keep them coming though, I love getting new recommendations. The next spread was my 2020 cover page and there isn't much to say about that really, it's mostly a divider. Okay, so this next spread was my challenge for 2020 and it was to read a little bit every day. It wasn't a very strict challenge because I didn't actually believe I'd be able to read for fun every day, but I still made a table and everything. And as you can see, I kind of fell off filling this in halfway through the year and honestly it didn't do that much for me before that other than looking kind of cool. And of course, that's okay too, to make spreads because they look cool, but I won't be remaking this for 2021. This is my 2020 review spread and this is not very well made. I think for 2021 I'll do a completely different layout because these tables just didn't make sense considering I didn't actually count all the articles and books I read for uni and I didn't read any ebooks, only physical books and audiobooks and it was kind of silly to put that in the table before even knowing if I'd read any or not. So this spread shows me how many books I've read this year but not in a very good way and I haven't even bothered filling it in for the past half of the year. I think that for 2021 I'll actually make this spread after the year or towards the end of the year when I actually know my reading pattern for the year a bit better. After this, the monthly spread started. So the way I did things is I made a monthly cover page, which had room to fill in all the books I read that month. And then following that, I had a spread for each book that I read. And the layout of the monthly cover pages changed over time. Obviously, I wasn't able to stick to a single theme for the whole year. And I also discovered printables this year. So I did use a lot of that. In the beginning I tried to print out photos that reminded me of the book I had read but it became kind of tedious and a bit too much. I wanted this reading journal to be 
minimal effort and just for fun so I definitely changed my style over the year which is fun to look back on. In the beginning of the year I read a lot of books and then from March I read between one and three books a month which I think is quite a lot at least for me. I also didn't decorate every single book spread, sometimes I just wanted to write my thoughts about the book without having to think of a layout or color combinations, and I actually think those spreads are just as nice. You'll see printables from April Ann Arts, Catherine Sarah Journals, Season Zhu, and myself in this journal because I like to mix and use all of them. One thing that I'm quite proud of is that this year I read all the Witcher books. Yes, I also watched the Netflix show and thought Henry Cavill was the sexiest guy ever and wanted to read the books. <laughs> I really like the multiple methods of storytelling that is used in the book, so I can really recommend those if you're into fantasy novels that are a little bit different. If you want some more recommendations for books, my friend Sun is actually running a book club over at Discord. She's a huge book nerd and it's her fault that I've been reading so much fantasy this year. She asked me if I could give their book club a little shout out, so here it is. It's basically just a group of friends who got to know each other through bullet journaling and now they read books together and do a voice call every Sunday to talk about it. They're really fun and nice people and they have a tendency to get a bit crazy and off topic, but that's part of their charm. If you want to, you're welcome to join them in December when they're reading Every Heart a Doorway. I've put a link in the description box so that you can check it out. Oh, and it's a plus if you also like whales. There are a few spreads here in the back that I haven't finished yet, but it's not the end of the year yet, so I still have some time to finish those book spreads. Alright, so let's make some spreads for the new year. I'm going to go back to the beginning of the journal and prepare the first few spreads that apply to the whole journal, like the index and the books to be read spread. I can tell already that the index won't be enough for another year, but it's also not the most important part of the journal, I guess. And if I fill it up, then so be it. For the books to be read spread, I just made a little header and I glued in some book covers I had already printed out a while ago. I really need to get better at reading the books on this list because most of the time I find a new and shiny book and read that instead of the older ones that are on the list. Or Son will tell me I have to read this very exciting book because she wants to talk about it with me and, you know, I just have to listen to her. I have no more recommendations to add at the moment or any more mangas I'd like to read right now, so I'm going to skip directly to the 2021 spreads. Just like last year, I wanted to make a little cover page for the year just to separate the two parts of the journal. I'm using a lot of different kinds of paper for this spread. I have some handmade paper that I bought and I have some um, ripped paper from books and piano sheet music that I got at the thrift store and I also printed out a photo from Unsplash and of course I had to put a girl sticker on there I did that for the cover page for 2020 as well so it kind of just felt like something that I should have on the 2021 cover page as well I'll leave the names of the shops with links and everything to all of the different stickers and papers that I'm using in these spreads, so if you're wondering about any of those, just check the description box below. So this time I decided to put down some goals on the left side. I don't have any specific goals other than I want to prioritize reading more set aside a specific time every day to read, usually that would be before I go to sleep, expand my horizon a little bit, read some books I maybe normally wouldn't read, and also focus on what I'm reading rather than how many. I don't want to have a 52 books in a year challenge or anything. 
but a challenge that I am going to be doing is the 54321 challenge. So in a way I guess I'm kind of focusing on the amount, but the thing about this challenge is that it also focuses on what. So the premise of the challenge is that you choose five different categories and then you aim to read a certain number of books within that category. So I actually did try this two years ago before I made this reading journal and it worked all right, <laughs> but I guess I wasn't that dedicated. So I actually haven't decided on my categories yet, but I know that I want to read some books that are written by non-Western authors because I think that that's a really great way to learn something new and experience a story from a different perspective than I normally would. Of course, they have to be translated into either English or Norwegian. If I read a Japanese book, that's okay as well. But I haven't really found any Japanese books that I would like to read yet. I mean, I really like Murakami, but he writes all of his books in English anyway, so it's not really the same thing. I haven't decided on the categories yet, so if you guys have any suggestions, feel free to leave them in the comment section. I would love to hear them. There is quite a lot going on in the spread, but in each circle I'm going to write a number and a category, and then in the craft paper section I'm going to write the name of the books, and I'll probably have some sort of square or circle to cross off when I've read that book. But since I haven't decided on the categories, I haven't filled in anything yet, so for now the spread is blank. I just want to really quickly thank the sponsor of this video, Rustico. Rustico is based in Utah in the US and they make really pretty notebooks. I've been using this idea notebook for a year now and I love it as you can see. If you're interested in checking out their notebook collection, then just head on over to rustico.com. Another challenge that I am setting for myself this year is to read one classic a month. It is kind of ambitious considering that I've had these classics laying around for a year and I only read two of them in 2020. But for 2021, I am going to try to read one classic every month and I'm hoping that I can do it. I mean, they're not even that long. All these older classics tend to be pretty short, so I hope that I can do it. I think that it will also be nice to vary a bit more between physical and audiobooks because I've been listening to a lot of audiobooks this year and sometimes it's just nice to sit down with a physical book and I haven't done that as much in 2020. And there you have it. These are all of the spreads that I'm making for 2021 and I'm actually quite proud of myself for sticking to this journal throughout this whole year. It wasn't always easy, I wasn't always as motivated, but it was kind of nice to have a place where I could reflect on the books and write my thoughts on them after reading them. I think that it's been a really fun journey so far and I am excited for the next year as well. If you're also interested in starting a reading journal, then I might be able to interest you with this giveaway. So I received two idea notebooks from Rustico last year and I've only been using one. So I'm giving away the other one to one of you. The one I'm giving away is a lighter color option than the one I'm using. And I am very excited to send this to one of you together with one of my art prints. So all you need to do is to subscribe to my channel, click like on this video and write a comment. I will announce the winner in a community post on my channel in about a week. So make sure that you turn on post notifications so that you're alerted when I post something new. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I had a lot of fun making this. I really love my reading journal. And yeah, I hope you're having a lovely day and I'll see you next time. Bye.